let's begin the news bulletin tonight with the arrest, arraignment and later release of the controller of budget, Dr. Margaret Nyakango. Nyakango was picked from a conference in Mombasa by detectives and arraigned at the Mombasa Law Courts to face four counts, including fraud, operating a SACO without a license and fraudulent acquisition of monies. The 2016 incident, which culminated in a court process in 2019, shook the country with many raising questions over the timing of the arrest in light of the recent strong statements made by the controller of budget criticizing government on the misuse of taxpayers' monies. Chem Taigoin reports. At the time of her arrest, the control of budget Margaret Nyakango was engaged in a public seminar in Mombasa County. After being picked by the police, Nyakango was produced before Chief Magistrate Alex Ituku at the Mombasa Law Court, where she pleaded not guilty to four charges leveled against her, including obtaining money through false pretense. Nyakango stands accused alongside 10 others in a case lodged in 2016 before she took up her current possession of control of budget. Claudia Mutungi moved to court in November 2019, accusing Nyakango of defrauding her 29 million shillings after a circle she was operating closed shop and she failed to refund the depositors. Summons to issue that is against the other 10 who are not in court today. We mentioned this matter on 13, 13 of December before this court. Although the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution says they are ready to proceed with the case, Nyakango, who pleaded not guilty, insisted she has no case to answer. She was released on bond. I hereby admit her to a bond in the sum of Kenya shillings, two million with one charity of similar amount. There is an alternative of Kenya shillings, 500,000 cash bill. Summons to issue that is against the other 10 who are not in court today. As Kenyans wait for the case to be heard on 13th December this year, loud murmurs of discontent dominated social media over the suspicious timing of the arrest and if the control of budget was a victim of her tough stance on corruption. During an appearance before the National Dialogue Committee, Nyakango revealed shocking details of what she said was an inflation of the budget by the National Treasury, signaling corruption-related activities. The exaggerations are in the National Treasury and let me just give one example. When I was doing uh, the budget for consolidated fund services, this is where my salary is paid from. I found out that my salary was budgeted at three times what I'm paid. She went on to state that Treasury was yet to clearly explain if the entry on the salaries was a mishap or a scheme to pilferage public resources. I am the only state officer in my institution. So there's nothing like confusion there. I'm all alone. So I asked them, why is the budget showing three times what my annual salary is. And it was like that for all the state officers. She most recently sounded a warning to government that if they did not stabilize the Kenya shilling against the dollar, the appreciating dollar was going to inflate the foreign debt even further, starving the development budget. Earlier in the year, she also surprised the country when she said she was forced to release 15 billion shillings before the August 2022 elections. Even as she awaits her day to the court, questions will continue to be raised on whether or not the arrest was politically motivated. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV.